Chef Mickey's. What have you done? Hey guys, it's Michelle from our Everyday Places. And in today's video, I am reviewing Chef Mickey's, specifically their dinner buffet. Now recently, my family and I, we went to Chef Mickey's. We've gone a few times, uh, mainly during the COVID changes. So we've gone during the family style, bring the food to your table style meal. Unfortunately, I'm coming out the park swinging for this video. And my experience as Chef Mickey's recently left much to be desired and the food was lackluster. And truthfully, this is the only part, the only section that's gonna get five stars from me because Chef Mickey's is located at Contemporary Resort right on Walt Disney property. It's one of the hotels on the monorail loop. So in terms of location while at Disney World, it doesn't really get much closer than that. Um, so if you're staying at Contemporary, it's right downstairs. If you're visiting Magic Kingdom or even Epcot, you can get to it by monorail. Or if you're staying at Grand Floridian or Polly, it's right there on the monorail. So the character interaction, I give it about four stars. The characters do come around. It's a great place to meet the Fab Five. So you're gonna get Mickey, Minnie, although I'll talk about that in a second, Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and Pluto. All five come around. They interact with you, they take pictures with you, they'll sign autographs, and it is a very nice interaction. Much better than trying to hunt these characters down in the parks. And of course, you are sitting at your table, you don't have to walk anywhere, and that part of it is convenient. Now, if your child or family member has never met any of the characters this is a great place to do it for the first time but i do have to add like what is up with minnie like minnie this time around did not come around she did not go to all the tables like she has in the past which was kind of a bummer for my kids they were like where is minnie i'm like oh you know she's in the kitchen like cooking your food know what to say because she wasn't coming around um and later at the end they told us that once we pay for our meal they stamp your receipt and then you have to take it over to the side when you're leaving the restaurant and you meet Minnie and there's photo opportunities there but she doesn't come around which kind of sucks because out of all of the characters aside from Goofy Minnie has the best dance moves and we don't get to see her dance um when she's just standing there waiting for you to go and meet her this is hard for me to rate because our servers were good. They were friendly, um, very quick, and some may say efficient, um, but not personable because they are trying to treat this restaurant like a factory. Essentially, you come in, you sit down, you eat quickly, and then you get out so that the next person can sit down. Um, pre-buffet when they were doing family style we really got to talk to our server like actually know what his name or his or her name was whereas i couldn't tell you what our service name was this time around because he just dropped off our drinks and kind of like had to go to the next table right so i wouldn't deduct points because of that they're just doing their job and they are good they're professional they're friendly I mean, maybe I have higher expectations than I should because it is a kid-friendly character meet and greet dinner. So maybe I shouldn't expect like high dining quality service. But at the same time, it is a pricey meal. For adults, it's about $62, I think, for a dinner. And for children, it's $39. So in total for a family of four, you're looking at over $200. Um, so some service would be good and you leave gratuities and tips. So you do get service, right? I don't know. If I'm going to be fair, I would say four stars for service. It wasn't bad service. I just liked the way that they did it before. And that's not the service fault. That's just my preference. Um, you know, the service before they came around, they brought you your drinks, they brought you your food. My husband has an interesting diet. He's vegan slash vegan vegetarian when he wants to be so they went back they talked to the chef they bought him a special meal out so there was a bit more interaction and um like you could have special requests for this with a buffet i just i don't even know who i would talk to to get my husband a different meal like do i just talk to 
who do I tell that like, this man don't eat meat? I don't know. <laughs> right, food and drinks. This is where it nose dives. A three, it, and that's pushing it. I'm gonna give it a three. It is average food. I did not, there is nothing special that I ate. It's just basic. You know, you have a few salad choices, you have some vegetables, you have your meats, you have your starches. And for me, it was nothing to write home about. Obviously the food, it's buffet style, so it's sitting there for a while. And my husband was saying, well, Michelle, you know, maybe when they're doing the family style, it's still kind of like mass produced. Like I'm sure they're producing a lot at a time, just bringing it out on trays. And yes, I believe that could very well be, but for some reason, the food before when they did family style, it just tasted better. The quality was higher. I will say that they do have a variety of food. There's definitely something there for everyone, adults, children, you know, chicken tenders, the usual french fries, mac and, mac and cheese, a rice. They had a carving station. The desserts were actually quite decent. I did enjoy the desserts, but the rest of the food, for the most part, I it was just okay. So overall, how would I rate Chef Mickey's right now? And is it worth the cost. I would rate it a three and a half star. Is it worth the cost? No, it is not, which is sad because my first time visiting Chef Mickey's, I loved it. My kids loved it. They were so entertained by the characters who came around a bit more frequently than they are right now. Um, and it could very well be that I went on a bad night. Like maybe I went on a super duper busy night, but as far as I can tell, the capacity for the restaurant has not gone up. Like it was still a lot of people there then. So I don't know what has changed, <sighs> but it kind of makes me sad because Chef Mickey's was a very special place for my kids. And I don't see us going back anytime soon, especially when there's better character meals. So you have Topolino's Terrace, which is an amazing character meal at the Riviera. Um, it's a great breakfast. And you have Cape May's, another great breakfast where you meet a bunch of characters. Um, it's cheaper and yeah, it's at the beach club. So if you really want a character breakfast that's good quality food, check out Cape May and Topolino Terrace if you can get a reservation because they're really hard to come by. Now I know some people may have visited Chef Mickey's before COVID and they're like, listen, it's gone right back to what it was before. But for me, all that I can go off of is how they had it during COVID and a few years after. So it's just different now. So who is Chef Mickey's for? Well, if you've never gone to Chef Mickey's before, it's for you. You have to try it, first time visitors. Check it out, try it. I would say go with breakfast first because breakfast food is a little bit easier to not mess up, I guess. <laughs> I know that these reservations are hard to get, but if you continue to check, there are always cancellations I find, usually anyway, not around major holidays, it could be hard, but other times throughout the year, cancellations do come up. This time that I went, there was nothing available when I went in the summer. And then like two days before, I grabbed a 6.30 spot. So definitely keep checking it or if not be ready at the 60 day mark or however many days out if you're staying on property so that you can snag a good time reservation. I will also say that Chef Mickey's could be for you if you are actually staying at Contemporary Resort or any of the resorts on the monorail loop. It's convenient, it's easy to just walk down and go to breakfast or dinner, it's an easy bite for you. Um, if you want to pay that money, you know, it's convenient. It's right there. All right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in deciding if Chef Mickey's is for you and if it's worth it. Um, as always, guys, leave comments down below if you want to ask any questions or tell me what you think about the video. What's your experience like at Chef Mickey's? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.